Good afternoon, good evening, all the above. As we're coming live from Oxford, Alabama here at Chocolate Park, um, we are wrapping up day two of bracket play in the Team U Gold Division. Our last interview of the day, Coach, the park is clearing out, but you're still here, which means you pulled out another win in bracket play to, to advance and move on. Um, Coach Bone, Boaz, Team U Pirates with Hudson. Hudson, we're gonna call him Coach Daddy for the interview. Is that good? <laughs> yes, Daddy. All righty. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Appreciate Most it. importantly, uh, thank you for sitting in with us as well. But being that you won, talk to me about that post game speech that you had with the guys after a great performance. I just told them that you know we that it was it was fun to watch them have fun. We had, we had a really tough pool play draw. We had Piedmont and Alexandria yes, in pool play, who were two of the top four seeds overall in the in the bracket. So, uh, you know, those didn't go like we'd hoped. Yes, sir. But those are two really good baseball teams. And so for us to be able to match up with a team that, you know, more closely resembles our level uh, and, and be able to play a tight game with them, come away with a win, it was fun to watch them have fun, you yes, know. Sir. Because they had not had a whole lot of fun the first two games. We kind of got whipped up on So uh, they were able to have a lot of fun with that game today. So I, I was glad to see that for them. Yes, sir. Well, you know, uh, getting a win means one thing. You're moving on. That's right. Okay. So when you move on, uh, competition doesn't get lesser. Right. Okay. You may not see an Alexandria, you know. Um, you may not see a Piedmont. But you're definitely going to see two good two good park programs in Marbury and Hartsville. The winner of that game tomorrow morning catches you guys in the, in the game after. So you're gonna, you know, you're going back home, you're gonna get a good night's rest, you're gonna come back out to the park tomorrow around lunch, and, and what are you gonna tell these guys to get them refocused and re re energized? Uh, just come out and have fun, you know. Like I said, that that's that's the that's the thing. I mean, like we, I talked about earlier too, baseball is supposed to be fun, and that's what that's what we're here for is to have fun. Go out there and play hard, have fun, and then whatever happens happens, you know. And and, and you know, good things happen when you come out and you play hard and you have fun. That's that, that's true. As a testament here, uh, Big Dog Hudson is in the house. Coach, um, you got to pick anybody you wanted to pick for player of the game. Um, player of the games are created by the plays they make, um, things they do on the field, in the dugout, leadership. What, what led to selecting Hudson as the player of the game? Well, you know, I actually asked my assistant coaches because I knew him. I knew in my heart who I felt like it was, but I didn't want to seem like that I was biased, so I asked them, and they all three of my assistant coaches told me without hesitation, Hudson Ball said it's right. him. You know, said he, he had he had three hits, had a huge hit in the extra inning, that drove in a couple of runs, had a triple earlier in the game that drove in a couple of runs, and uh, then he came in in a tight spot in the last uh, – Regulation in, got us out of the jam. We ended up tied going to extra innings. Then he came in and got the three outs in the extra inning and got the win. So he really, I mean, he really did it all today with the bat and on the mound. And right. so, I mean, it was, it was, it was actually, you know, pretty, pretty easy really because he, he was, he was our most important player today. You know, Hudson, that's a lot of good words that your dad said, and it's even commendable that your assistant coaches all said, "Hey, man, this is a no-brainer. Hudson's the man." Now. Your dad said you got a hit here, hit there, hit there. I'm gonna look at the spray chart, see where you got your hits. But you drove in runs, you scored, your team scored 15. How many RBIs did you have? How many guys did you drive in? Well, the last one I had bases loaded. Only one didn't score. You drove in two. I drove in two. And Drove in a couple with a triple. Yeah, drove in a couple with a triple. He had a single. He had a single in his first at bat that drove in a run. So he had five, yeah, five, five, five for the day. Yeah, five RBI. You know, the major leaguers don't even get that type of performance. <laughs> How you feeling, man? How you feel good. after that performance? Good. It, man, that's just really good. I tell you what, the reason you're in here is uh, we like to recognize performance. Okay, so anybody that does a great job, we want we want them to know that that we feel it's important that we tell you congratulations, that we tell you great job, okay? And you're in here because everybody's an all-star that's playing, right? And everybody's a step above the park mark. But within all-stars, you got a few players that become elite, okay? So you're an elite all-star, okay? We're not gonna put it on your jersey, all right? I may call you elite when I walk around the park, okay? But how we're gonna recognize you is we're gonna give you a ring that says all-star elite, okay? 
So congratulations on your performance. That doesn't mean that you can go out tomorrow and do what you want. That means you have to be just as good tomorrow, and you have to challenge your teammates to be just as good, okay? Yes, sir. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take the ring, and I'd like you to show that Boaz Nation the ring of an elite member, our newest member as an elite all-star is Mr. Hudson Bond. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Now you and Coach Daddy are gonna give me a, together a go Pirates as we finish this interview. Thank you guys, congratulations, good luck tomorrow, Shadow. Go Pirates. Good luck.